Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, my friend, um, <coughs> excuse me, Fred who uh, is building a, um, a bending table and he has some pretty exotic stuff. We need to visit that some other time. But what he, uh, what he wanted to do is to make up uh, a two plates spaced apart with pins in them to uh, be able to use that in, in all sorts of positions for doing the bending. Um, so what he's done is he's bought, he's, he's had laser cut um, three segments. This segment here which is only four mil thick and two segments which are um, 12 mil thick. And he's got, he wants to space them out and he wants holes uh, three quarter inch holes to take three quarter inch dowel pins so they can be matched in any place and this this one here is just a sacrificial plate to be used as a template to drill the holes in the other two plates now um, when Fred showed me this and told me and I said well Fred how do you intend to do that and he was going to do it on his drill press and use bolt this together with uh, through the three plates and use this as a drilling template to drill all the holes. So he's going to drill the pilot holes, take this away, then drill the three uh, under three quarter hole, and then ream them. Now there's 470 holes to be drilled all together. I said, Fred, we've got to be able to do better than that. I I believe with a rotor brooch we can rotor brooch those holes. We can make them the way you want them on the mill very easily and save you probably two-thirds of your time and only one operation is to drill those holes in one bang without this template. Uh, he'll use this anyway as a bottoming plate for the for the pins to drop into. So what I've done is I've set up uh, these two plates in the um, in the mill, in the big mill and um, I've got it all centered, set it up and lined, and lined up these here parallel with the with the table. I've centered it, zeroed it. Everything's good. And now what we're doing is we're drilling those holes. Uh, and so we can just use the DRO. Uh, we've set it up. We're on the zero axis at the minute. Uh, on the Y axis, we're on zero, and we're stepping out at those distances that he's nominated, which is 29 millimetres between each one. Now we've drilled the, drilled the first one with a three quarter inch, uh, with a 19 mil, which is our standard, um, and uh, that was too tight. So I've reamed it out with this one, and I've, this is a hole that we've just now drilled exactly with the three quarter inch. Um, and if we take the dowel pin, here's the dowel pin, um, and we offer that up to the hole. I'll turn that light off because it's probably interfering more than. Um, and we offer it up, and that just drops in there nice and neat and smooth. That's what he wants. Just a smooth drop in there. So we have success. Um, this is going to go ahead. I'm not going to do any more because this is going to be done by uh, Fred's son. But we've got it set up. We cannot reach the whole width. Uh, we can only, we've only got this amount of movement here um, after setting this up on zero. So we're going to do these lines of holes as far as we can till we're at, at, at our, our limit. And then um, because this is a square matrix, we'll be able to rotate this plate, rotate it around and pick up in this direction and carry on doing the rest of them um, and that, but once we rotate at 90 degrees we'll be able to pick up this lot because it'll be over there we rotate it on this neat uh, center point here um, and there or the other option is we move the ram out we extend the ram forward um, once we've done whatever's in the capability here and we extend the ram out and then we do the rest but then this is a bit unsupported and rotor brooches are very finicky and i want them want what i'm doing to be quite supportive so we'll probably end up doing it in that uh that mode by by spinning it around 
So watch this space and uh, we'll be back.